Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to create for you something that I've been doing a lot recently, um, especially over my winter break. I'm a teacher, so I just had a two week, you know, lovely vacation. Um, so this is a look I was doing pretty much every single day over that break. It is very few products, so it's great for travel which is, you know, why I used it. I was out of town over the holidays. Um, it's very few products, very easy to achieve and very natural looking yet, you know, it's a very your skin but better type of a look. So if you are somebody who loves those no makeup makeup looks um, and you wanna know some of my favorite products and how I achieve that no makeup makeup look, that it just keep on watching. All right, so the key, at least in my opinion, to a true no makeup makeup look is the complexion. Now, my skin is not perfect. I definitely have lots of redness on my cheek. I have a lovely friend joining me on my chin. <laughs> um, so I like to try and tone down redness or imperfections, but I don't want to mask them. It kind of defeats the purpose of a no makeup look because our skin isn't naturally flawless unless you're a very lucky small percent of the population. Um, so I like to go in with no more than a medium cover concealer and make sure that concealer truly matches your skin tone and undertone. Um, you don't want, you know, a, <laughs> a concealer that's not going to match your skin because it's, then it's going to be very obvious something has been placed on your skin. My two favorites for myself are the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Self Setting Concealer and I'm in the shade 12. This is almost a perfect match for me. It's ever so slightly light, but it definitely, you can blend it in and buff it to look totally, you know, natural like my skin. And another great one is the Maybelline Age Rewind um, Eraser for Dark Circles. You know, the one that's been around forever that everyone talks about. And I'm in the shade Fair for that one and it looks wonderful as well on my skin tone. Both look great. I do find this one is slightly more coverage. So if you go in with this one, make sure you use even less than this one. Um, but Again, we're going for that natural look, so I go in with a very small amount of either one that I'm using. Because it is winter and I do find the uh, Makeup Forever one to be slightly more hydrating, I am gonna go in with this one. I do love this one in the summer, especially for those lake days when you just wanna do a quick little concealage of the you know, lovely under eyes from not sleeping, from being at the lake a little too many weekends in a row, you know? You all know there. <laughs> um, but I do really love this. If you're oily as well, I loved it when I had oily skin too. If you are dry uh, skinned or, you know, just have, you know, more dry on dry eyes, I recommend this one. It is more pricey, but again, it's been my go-to for months now. So I'm going to use this one <clears throat> and I'm just going to conceal in spots that I feel need it. Now, you know, you don't have to cover up everything. You know, don't let me, don't let people tell you cover up every inch of your skin. You know, that's not natural. And 99% of people don't have perfect, flawless, beautiful skin. So I'm just going to go in the spots that I feel more comfortable with them being covered up. So that is definitely my under eyes. And I'm just going in, as you see, a very small amount because we are going to spread it out. I get really red around my nose and I like to kind of uh, diminish that a little bit. And then obviously my lovely friend here, <laughs> going to lighten him. We're not going to hide him. We are going to lighten him. Otherwise, you know, if we're hiding a pimple, it's not going to be a no makeup look. So <laughs> we're gonna tone them down a little bit and then my chin is always really, really red and right in between here. And then I do have lots of veininess on my eyes or my eyelids. So I do like to just bring a little bit under there. That's all the complexion product I'm going to use. Then I'm going to go in with a bigger foundation brush. I'm gonna go in with my It Cosmetics 
Number 206, the buffing mineral powder. It's technically meant for mineral, you know, powders, but uh, I love it for foundation, like no makeup makeup days because it really just blurs everything together. So just your favorite kind of foundation um, blurring brush. This is very densely packed, so it's going to really disperse the product nicely and blend it seamlessly into our skin. So I'm just going to pounce on everything and uh, really disperse it as you see. We've toned down friend here. He's not gone though. <laughs> that defeats the purpose of a no makeup day. I do not naturally have flawless skin, so I'm just going to tone down all the stuff I don't like to show. Just buff everything really well into the skin. You don't want any harsh edges where your concealer stops and your skin ends. That's why it's really crucial as well to have a color that matches you and not have a concealer shade that's, you know, a shade or two lighter. Otherwise, it's not going to really blend into the skin seamlessly. So as we see, you know, I still have imperfections peeking through. Friend here is still showing, just way less severe. <laughs> and my redness that I get really bad on my cheeks is much more toned down. This is a level of skin that I feel confident with. If you feel you need more, feel go ahead and put on more. Um, keep in mind, the more product, the less natural it's going to look. But I do find this concealer, I mean, as you can see, it just blends in so perfectly and it's a natural finish. My next <laughs> most important tip, make sure the concealer you're using is a natural finish. Um, or in my case, I like even slightly dewy finishes because I love my skin to look naturally glowy and dewy. I mean, skincare, <laughs> I like a dewy glow. Um, but don't have a matte finish. Our skin isn't naturally flat matte. So if we put a flat matte concealer on our skin and expect it to look like not makeup, it's not going to work because then your natural skin, wherever you didn't put it, is going to have, you know, a skin like satin appearance. So both of these, as I mentioned, are great for that. This one is slightly more uh, youthful and glowy, which is why I love it when I'm more dry. And this one is slightly more satin matte, but it's not matte. So big, big, big thing. Make sure it matches your skin tone and undertone and make sure they're not matte. So next in my no makeup makeup routine is going in with a little bronzer. I am somebody who is very full fair complected as you can see. So I do like to add a little bit of life, give my face a little dimension because I don't naturally have that on my own. You know, if it's summer, I can go in with a little less, um, but who am I kidding? I'm really usually just this one shade of a uh, pale all year long, no matter if I've been at the lake uh, all summer long. So <laughs> um, a key to bronzer is to go in with a bronzer. Again, that's not going to be a flat matte. Um, anything that's just that flat matte is going to look more stark on your natural satin uh, skin texture. So I really love the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow in the shade Fair to Medium. It is so beautiful <clears throat> and it appears more matte in the pan, but I don't find that it's actually matte on the skin. Um, the powder is so buttery that it just goes on very natural and skin-like. My other favorite powder for this is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in the shade Fair to Light. Again, a very natural looking powder that blends into the skin and looks like your skin has just naturally been kissed by the sun. This one is a little bit more light. This one is a little bit more uh, of a true bronze color. So depending on your skin tone, if you're more fair than me, definitely pick the Bare Minerals. Um, if you're deeper than me, I would say the Charlotte Tilbury. I know this one's way more pricey, but it's beautiful. <laughs> and I don't find that it's a contour like the name suggests. I do find it's a bronzer, um, at least on my skin tone. It's fair, you know, neutral, cool undertone. 
Today I'm going to go in with this one just because it is winter and I'm extra fair. <laughs> um, and it goes on so natural. I always use a big fluffy, you know, blendy brush to really airbrush that bronzer. You're not going to want to go in with a ton, a ton of product. Um, you just want it to look like you're naturally flushed. So the Real Techniques blush brushes are my favorite bronzer brushes. I can't say that word. <laughs> my favorite bronzer brushes, especially for these no makeup days. I mean, who am I kidding? But for every day, but especially no makeup makeup days. And I do find that with this powder, you can like, you can't go overboard with it. So I just put it on, you know, my cheek area on the temple and I'm not going in with a heavy hand. I just want to add a little bit of life into my otherwise lifeless looking uh, skin. <laughs> Put it on my temples, my forehead, all over the cheeks. And you know, ate one too many Christmas cookies, Christmas candies. So uh, the double chin's really been poking out lately. <laughs> so let's kind of um, not hide it. We're just gonna pretend it's hidden to make me feel better. Cause somebody needs to go back to the gym. Yeah, that somebody's me. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Do you also go a little ham on the Christmas cookies? Yeah, I still have Christmas cookies in my fridge. Thank you, mom. <laughs> my mom always sends home like mounds of Christmas goodies and you know if you keep them in the fridge they just last a lot longer and then you can just keep eating them and keep you know adding to your double chin but as you can see I've just been applying and applying and applying this bronzer it never looks like too much but as you can see my skin looks like it does have a little bit of life to it now which is awesome it does have that you know really healthy glow and just healthy natural color. It doesn't look orange or out of place on my skin tone. Um, I do really love this powder. If you swatch it, you will notice it kind of looks like it has sparkles in it, but once it's on the face, I don't know if those glitter particles just drop off, but I don't see them. Even in direct sunlight, if I am outside and I look in my mirror, I don't see them. So don't let that deter you from this. It is the best powder if you are a fairer skinned person. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So then what I like to do to kind of tie everything together is throw a little bit, I mean, as you can see, I really don't have a crease color. So I do like to throw a little bit of the same bronzer into my crease on a big fluffy brush. This is my Morphe M504. And I'm just going to put that lightly in the crease. And because it's the same bronzer we have on our face, it's going to tie in with everything else and just look natural. It's not going to look like we've added makeup there, especially because this is such a satin finish bronzer that is just going to look like our skin, but like we've been outside, you know, even sometimes your eyes, you know, get a little color, right? So it just kind of makes everything more cohesive and go together. Love it. I do that all the time with like every bronzer I use if I'm being lazy. <laughs> lazy girl hack. So then I'm not going to use any brush or highlighter. As you can see, I already have my natural glow from my skincare and just my skin peeking through. The bronzer helps add a little bit of luminosity to the skin. So I'm not going to add any blush or highlighter. I find that when I put blush on my skin, especially as I am so fair, you know, it's blush. Like it, there's a color there. I, because we've gone in with such a light coverage concealer, already have my rosy cheeks anyway peeking through. If you are somebody who is lucky and you don't have that natural flush, <laughs> um, feel free to throw on your favorite, you know, neutral toned bronzer or not bronzer, your neutral, favorite neutral colored blush that just looks like you're naturally blushed. I already have a natural blush, so I'm not going to go in with any more complexion style products. Now, because 
I have no eyebrows and that is something I am <laughs> a little bit self-conscious about when I go out in public with my little no makeup days. I do like to add a little bit. I'm not going to go full brows, really sculpt it out like I normally would if I'm doing a full face of makeup, but I do, you know, girlfriend needs help. Uh, whoever decided it was super cool in like middle school to pluck out every eyebrow out of their face, you know, you're on my naughty list, okay? <laughs> because mine never grew back after that lovely phase of like middle school and high school and plucking everything out of my uh, eyebrows. <laughs> so I do desperately need help. Um, so I'm going in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in taupe. Now what I like to do is just brush my very few uh, little hairs up. And then I'm going to ever so slightly, I'm using a very light hand for this. Don't go in as much as you usually do when you're just doing a full face of makeup. I am using a very light hand and gently um, underlining the shape that I want them to be using light, like little hair-like strokes, but very light pressure. Again, in the front here, I don't really have a lot, so I'm going to add very light hair-like strokes to give a little something there. And that I'm very sparse right up in here on the top part too. So again, hair like strokes. And then I'm gonna fill it in with a little bit of hair like strokes as well. Most important step, brush it through. That makes it look even lighter and more natural. So as you can see, my brows are nowhere near perfected. But it's definitely, you know, a little more something than these pathetic little things over here. So <laughs> I'm going to do the same on the other brow. To make them look even more natural, I love to go in with my Benefit Gimme Brow in shade number one. Um, I do find that the fibers in here, you know, really attach to my very few actual brow hairs. <laughs> and make them look a little bit thicker and more natural so as we can see you know they just look kind of flat right now because you know obviously it is flat it's pencil against my skin but just adding a light coat of this will make it look a little bit more like it's actually my brows see i don't know i think it makes a little bit of a difference <laughs> then my absolute last step with this just kidding. My second to last step is mascara. Go in with a very natural mascara. You're not going to want to go in with, you know, the hourglass caution type mascaras or Lancome Monsieur Big or um, CoverGirl or, or L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Those that make it look very voluminous, very, you know, not real lashes. So for these kind of more natural days and, you know, for everyday purposes, really, because this is my favorite, <laughs> the CoverGirl Clem Crusher in the shade water, not in the shade, in the water resistant kind. It does not flake. It does not transfer, especially because we did not set under eyes. Very crucial. And this is the shade very black. You will see this is the most natural looking, beautiful mascara. And I'm going to go in with just one coat to just enhance and awaken my eyes. I don't want it to look like, you know, I have false lashes on um, because this is a natural makeup look. <laughs> you know, this is a no makeup look. We're supposed to naturally just have these beautiful eyelashes. So I'm not even going to go all the way to the root like I usually do. I'm just going to keep it on about the outer half just to add a little color and a little bit more dimension to them. See, just very light strokes. And I'm not even, you know, putting a ton of pressure. I'm just coating the very tips of them. So as you can see, it just makes my eye look a little bit more awake on this side, a little bit more defined than my natural lash. If you are somebody who does not naturally have dark eyelashes or, 
you know, dark hair, you might even want to consider it going in with a brown mascara. And I'm not going to put any on my lower lash line just because then I find it looks even more like I'm wearing makeup. So as you see, that just really made my eyes look a little bit more awake and ready for the day. <laughs> So the very last step is go in with your favorite lip balm, your favorite lip gloss if you want, or your favorite kind of colored lip balm. I like to go in with the Sephora uh, Melting Lip Clicks in the shade Caramel, Caramel, however you say that. <laughs> um, be careful when you click it up. You don't click up too much because you can't click it back down. Yes, I have made that mistake. Learn from me. Um, but I love this. It's very hydrating like a lip balm, but it does have, you know, a little bit of color. This isn't going to be long wearing or anything like that. It's going to wear like a lip balm. So this is something you'll want to reply, but it's really easy. Throw it in your purse, reply it. Otherwise, go in with your favorite lip balm. Just adds a little color to my very uh, light, small lips. Then what I like to do is take a tissue and blot it and it looks like you know just your natural lip but a little bit bitten you know cute right matches my naturally rosy face <laughs> so I really enjoy it I really enjoy that formula as well they're very nice and also very reasonably priced at Sephora so and that completely finishes off our no makeup makeup look as you can see my skin is far from perfect. I have lots of redness peeking through, but it's not to an amount that I feel, I don't feel confident. I love wearing this kind of look. This is what I wore throughout my entire winter break in Wisconsin with my family. I didn't want to do a full face of makeup because, you know, I was pretty much just at my family's house visiting, but I did want a little bit of something in case, you know, I was taking pictures with anyone or, you know, just to feel a little bit more confident. So I love this. I love it for errands. You know, when you're not talking, it takes you maybe five minutes to do, especially if you already have nice brows, you can skip that part. Um, and you know, take maybe two minutes to do this. It is very quick, very few products. Um, and it just kind of tones down anything you don't want, want to show, but still looks very natural, just your skin, but better and, you know, a little bit more enhanced. So I personally love this look. I wear it all the time, especially recently. Uh, my skin's for the most part been pretty nice other than, you know, the occasional lovely little guy right there. <laughs> um, but yes, I hope you enjoyed this look. You'll have to let me know if you try it or you've tried any of these products and you also love them uh, for days that you're wearing very little makeup. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this. I hope you guys had an amazing uh, holiday season. Happy New Year and I will see you in my next one. Thanks.